Dr. P. Good morning, I do. Yeah, um, we are in Dr. Wilson Smith class, and we, are, we have a presentation on Monday on physical education. Could you introduce everyone? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, Shanice. Shanice. Shanice Dennis. Yeah. Shanice Rouse. Two Shanice. Yes. Yep. With <laughs> different. Yeah. Cameraman. Ryan. Uh, I'm Ryan. Right. All right. Um, Abdul. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now we're ready. Yeah. Yes. So now we're ready for the interview. <laughs> so, so we have a couple of questions, and our first question is: What skills and personal qualities are needed for this job? Skills and personal qualities. Whoa. You have to have your degree, of course, or your PhD, and you have to have some experience teaching and a little experience of administration. You have to be able to work with everyone, people, students, deans, provost, chancellor, uh, individuals that come in to work the physical plant, you have to be able to work with them. You have to be a people person where you get along with and can work with everyone. You have to be <coughs> accessible. People have to be able to access you, be able to come see you when they need to. You have to be able to find answers to problems. Those are some of the characteristics that you have to have. You have to be able to work with everyone and you cannot lose your temper or get angry or you have to stay on your even keel. You have to help. When I have students and faculty come together and there's a problem, I have to be a mediator trying to mediate the problem, solve the problem. So you're a little bit of everything. You're a mother, you're a father, you're a mediator, <laughs> your brother, a sister, you have a counselor, you have to do a lot of this. And what are some advantages and disadvantages of your job? Advantages would be meeting all the students, working with the students from the time you get them in class until you see them graduate and get a job, and then going out and seeing what they're doing. Disadvantages are having to work a lot of times with the administration and not having funds to work with, people to work with, the resources that you need to work with and having to do a task they call you at 9 o'clock and say, I need this report by 12. So you have to stop doing what you're doing, maybe even not even be able to go to your class to teach to get that report done. And that's one of the things I dislike. Okay. Can you give me a job, a job description and or primary duties of the job? Chair's duties is I say it's a little bit of everything. You have to be able to do the budget, manage a budget, you have to manage a facility, you have to manage people, you have to work with students, manage students, you're responsible for the actual working of the department, making sure the curriculum is correct, making sure that people have the resources they need to teach, and you have to work with the dean getting things with her that we, we are responsible to them, we are responsible to everyone. And the chair really is the, the hub of the, the, the university because everything goes through the chair. We have to work with you, we have to work with faculty, we have to work with people above us. And if there's anything that the chancellor wants, it comes down to this level and then we have to make sure it's taken care of. What's the most rewarding and satisfying entity of your job? I think working with students. Seeing you grow, seeing you mature, seeing you get out of class, change <laughs> in the class. It, it, it's looking at Abdul in, in my class, so seeing where they were in the beginning of the semester, how they've gotten to the end of the semester, and how much change has taken place, and how much learning has taken place. What inspired you to choose a profession in when I was in the seventh grade, I had a physical education teacher, and I knew then that's what I wanted to do, and I knew then that I wanted to get my PhD and work in the university. So she was very good working with us. She was just, she, I kind of modeled myself after her. She was tough, but she was there, and that's what I hope for. I can be at times. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yeah. 
um, what tools do you keep from college that keeps you going in this job? What keeps me going in this job? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I wonder, oh, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. What keeps me going? Uh, seeing students graduate, seeing students accomplish great things, watching you guys grow, watching faculty uh, do research, go out and make presentations when you know what's going on in their field, and just, I just enjoy teaching. I enjoy teaching. Uh, what are the most challenging part of this job? The most challenging, I think I said that before, is trying to get everything done without resources. We don't have the resources to do a lot of things. And I was just upstairs, I know athletic training is growing. They need more space. I don't have any space, so I'm trying to find space for that group. And so it's going to cost about $30,000 to get what I want done. I don't have $30,000. Try to figure out where I'm going to get that to fix that variable, and faculty need a little more support, resource, resources, and it's just that's the biggest challenge to try to do what I would like to do with the faculty and with the students, and give you guys more and help you grow a little bit more. I'd like to be able to get the alumni to start giving so I can set up a trust fund trust fund so that you I can pay for your books and help you with some things like that. And those are some of the things. But it's challenging because it's hard to get out there and do this when I have all this other stuff I have to do. I'm, sometimes I come in and I'm afraid to look at my email because I know you need more something. Or if she calls me, I just say, oh no, what she want now? No, I asked the other thing about being harder. Why do you not want now? <laughs> what do we have to do? And so she just laughs. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just, it's frustrating at times because you don't have what you need to work with. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. So um, if you're going to advise some, a student in this concentration, mm -hmm. um, Which what, concentration what would, uh, PE, PE. No. Yeah, well, Major yeah, is physical be, education. Well, yeah. Teacher, 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 teacher education. Teacher yeah. education. If you're right. going to go into teacher education, I would right. say that you need to get out and do some field experience. Work with, go to the schools, work with the schools, and make sure that's what you want to do. And that once you get out there and you do some volunteer work, you're working with teachers, then you get an idea of what is this, what I really want to do, or does it? Now, when I first got into